Welcome or welcome back and I need help at C squared. In this example, we have an equation we've given in the rectangular form, right? And we want to change it in polar form. And then we're going to look to the graphing calculator if we get something that makes sense. So first of all, what do we have here? We have x equals 2, right? 1, 2, and this is x equals 2, right? X axis, Y axis, X equals to is a vertical line. So now how do I get the rectangular, the polar form? Look at here, it's very simple in fact for this case. Look at here, X is nothing else than R cosine of theta. So I'm going to replace X of R cosine of theta. And I'm going to solve for R divided by cosine of theta. And I have r equals 2 over cosine of theta, which is a very good form. However, another form for this guy will be 2, and the reciprocal of cosine is secant, secant of theta. So I think this is the simplest form, but this is not bad. And in fact, you, you will see me. That's the one I'm going to use it now to in my graphing calculator, because I want to see in the graphing calculator how the polar uh, graph looks. So I have a TI-83, I filled the RAM. Um, again, you want to be sure you are in the polar coordinates, you want to be sure you are in radians, and then you can click the graph button and you're going to get these the choices on R1 I type in 2 over cosine. So you see, in this TI-83, you have to do it this way, you cannot do it this way. Uh, and then let's see. And there you go, the graph is a line at x equals 2. If you do not see that, you may want to look on your window and notice 0 to 6 point per minute. That is too high, just as an idea. And yes, we are okay now. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to click the like button and come back on C-square for more help. Thank you.